Oh boy. Nanny thought that it was time I spent some special time with Mikey alone. Mikey is acting out with bad behavior because he wants mommy's attention. I don't want him to have to do negative things to get my attention. Mom, this is your very own. I got my fishing rod. Fishing pole, Mikey. Yeah. Oh, Dad. Dad, you want to, why don't you step in? They see that he's going and they have to stay here. And they're going well, they don't have to stay here. They're going to do something fun with, with you. Dad. Dad's not too happy that I'm getting to leave the house and he has to stay back for once. That's what it is, this is all about. Excuse me? You are. You're not happy that I'm leaving. Honey, that has nothing to do with anything. That has absolutely nothing They'll to do with anything. They'll get over it five minutes truth. after we walk out the door. You distract them. They'll be fine. You want to torture me is what you want to do. Let's go. I don't mind spending time with my girls. That I don't mind. But the things that Mikey likes to do are kind of things that men do. You know, she would probably do things that would bore Mikey. Alex, we'll play with you in a little while. I'll be right back. Mikey needs some alone time with Mum. That's the whole point. It's hard to tell who's more upset about not going fishing, the girls or their father. I'm starting to believe that Dad is the biggest baby in this house. Okay, let's see. Uh, can you back up? Back up. Mikey was very happy to be with me, and when he's by himself, he is, he's a different kid. He likes that one-on-one -on -one attention, you know? Maybe if I can give him some special time like that, he wouldn't, you know, be craving it so much. I think I caught one. Let's see. Yeah! No why? Michael's been given the perfect opportunity to bond with his daughters, but he spends the afternoon joyriding instead. If he doesn't grow up soon, his children never will. Hey guys! We're home! Unfortunately, when Mum returns home, her husband's childish behaviour only escalates. Fish. What am I going to do with these fish? Well, that's your, that's your deal, because you, you brought that home, so you didn't have to deal with this. Okay, well, we wanted to show you. The first thing you did was yell at me. What are you doing? Why are you bringing that in here? Why are you showing the girls this? Why are you doing that? I just, you know, very frustrated and panicked and, you know, uh, I, like, felt like I just had to get out of this house. Where are you going? I'll be right back. I'm just going to go outside for a minute. Dad is in a bad mood. Why? Michael always wants you to feel sorry for him. And I'm sorry, but I don't feel bad. Get over it. These are your kids. Do what you have to do, and that's it. So I just, this is the first break I've got all day long just to walk out of the house, you know? <laughs> Today, Mum has stepped up and gotten on board, but Michael keeps holding her back. And that must change, and that must change now. I wanted to talk to both of you. Okay. Um, what I've noticed is there's a little bit of resentment going around. You wouldn't really help me with the situation when Alex was crying. Dad's not too happy that I'm getting to leave the house and he has to stay back for once. Excuse me? You felt sorry for yourself. It's funny she says that because I have to pick up the pieces of your mess. Not, uh, not every day. I was okay. gone two hours. I couldn't believe my ears. As soon as I tried to communicate with them, they started fighting again. I'd love to like get a motorcycle or something like that, but you told me, no, you can never have one until the kids are gone. I said, I when the kids are older. I can't do a single thing that I want. You know what it sounds like? Don't... Sounds like you never really grew up. That's I never right. really took on, I mean, you have three children and a wife now. Yeah. So all I can hear you saying is, I want this and I want that. That's all stuff that you have when you're not a dad. Okay. Well, when Nanny Yvonne told me to grow up and stop thinking about myself, I did offend me there because I haven't thought about myself in a very long time. The things I used to love are gone. I used to love to ski, ride motorcycles. I used to have a, a lot of hobbies. I am your slave oh, okay. until, until I go to bed. Taking care of his kids, he's my slave. Okay. Michael tells me I want him to be my slave. I mean, he says this all the time. I can't even, like, talk to him. You do everything. You That's cook, it. you clean, you no, bathe no, them. No, no, I don't help with no, anything. No, you bathe them and then you go inside your bedroom. I don't want to hear her screaming and crying. And, and, and nagging at me all the time, you know, for do this, do that, do this, do that. I'm not going to take this, You're done night. for the night. I'm not going to take You're done it. For the night. Okay, don't, look, don't threaten me. Do you see where the kids are actually getting this from? Do you see mm. where they're getting mm. the whining and 
the resentment, there's no respect. Do you see where they're getting it from? Alex, Amanda and Mikey are picking up on their parents' resentment, anger and very childlike behavior. How was I supposed to know I was going to have three kids in two years? How am I supposed to know that? How am I supposed to know what it's like? I know You're that. You're not one. being fair. Okay. You're just I'm not. I'm not being fair. All right, I had enough of this. I'm sorry. Oh.